never know, we might even find a couple of fossils. We're lucky. <laughs> you know, apart from ourselves, obviously. Yeah, yeah, I was but there's actually a lot of rocks on this beach so I'm not not actually sure how well we'll do with detecting so I'm going to leave the detecting for a minute because as we've come across the beach we've kind of noticed there's a lot of pottery coming up now so there's like lots of bits of pottery and glass warm glass just just all over the place as you can see um, and you've got the cliffs here, and they go all the way along. The tide's really far out as well. Um, we've just spoken to a local who said they've never seen the tide this low. So that might be hopeful. And we'll just, this seems to be where most people go over this way. So we're gonna head over there and see if, um, what we can find. Okay, this is my first find. I have no clue what it is. Um, it feels like it's hard. It's hard. It feels like stone, but it's. I have no clue. Is that a fossil? No. What I don't is know. that? I think we'll know when it dries. It's a bit unusual, isn't it? Very. Never seen anything like that before. It's a hagstone. What did you call me? Hackstone. Oh, there's a bit of blue and white there. That'll be good for my project that I'm doing at the moment. So I'm going to take that. Yeah. Oh, that's a first, isn't it? I haven't found one of these before. Well done, Laura. Thank you. A little bit of a lead pencil. Yeah. I've never found one either. No, that's very cool. What's that? Stoneware jar. Python. Massive tree. Like yeah. There's just stuff everywhere. Okay. Was it aqua? It's a bit, no, it's blue. <laughs> oh, it's blue, blue blue. It's like cobalt blue. It's a bit mangled, yeah. but it's a nice colour. Yeah. It definitely needs a clean up. But a little milkware jar just sat here waiting to be found. Yeah, it's a little screw. Is it a screw top or? Yeah, it's complete. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, it's, I think. I don't know. Okay, not. No. <laughs> it's complete anyway, and it's very dinky. It's numbers. Yeah. Oh, that's quite cool. Be good for like paints and stuff. Yeah. For your crafts. Yeah. You can use it. Okay. So it's like this all along here. All along. Um, I'm finding it a little bit overwhelming because there's just like stuff everywhere. <laughs> anyway, I found a little bit of Cornish wire. I think it's Cornish wire. In fact, actually, I picked a piece of this up. Um, a coffee and a sugar pot of this not that long ago um, but this little fragment here I shall use in a mosaic sorry about the wind noise um, Laura's found a fossil or has just found a bottle I'm guessing it's just a beer bottle or something like that oh, it's got a chip in the top so. And I'm just finding miscellaneous bits and pieces. I have no idea, but um, they looked interesting, so I picked them up. Oh, there's a nice fossil I've just found in amongst this lot. So, yeah, they're here to find. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. you Happy too. hunting!
another little bottle that Laura's pulled up. Yeah, I'll have a squint bottle. <laughs> I'll be over there in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> See, making friends already. Yeah. There we are. Cool little bottle. Screw top, but you know. So that fooled me for a sec. I thought that was a coin, but. Uh, no, I'm not actually sure what that is. Um, more fossils. Nice little cluster. There's another little squished bottle. I'm guessing that would have been something like milk of magnesium, something like that. Right colour. Uh, another piece of tiny bit of blue and white I've just dropped and lost there it is pretty just kind of getting into all the little nooks and crevices yes. seeing if there's anything Small. that's sort of caught up that's what I was doing, I sat on one rock and I just scraped um, around it so I mean, there's lot, there's lots of stuff here, but you know, it's like party facts mainly. And uh, still, still, it's a nice day out. Laura has eagle eyes because here is the next find. It's a bottle stopper. We haven't got one that colour either, have there we? Yeah, it's black. One thing off my list. Oh, look, there's another fossil. Another fossil. Yes. Yeah. So um, there is. I did want to find a bead or, or a bit of a doll or something yeah. like that. So a uh, clay pipe bowl? That'd yes. That would be quite nice. That too. I'm so excited. That was one of the things I wanted to find. Yeah. Um, so I've just got few more things left that I want to find. Well, like, I'm, I'm actually, um, I've got my pickle water out. I'm not actually looking at it. There we go. Okay, look at it. Oh look, there's a little foot. Is that like a horse's? Hang on, I was taking that off the beach, that metal, because it's not nice. A little horse's foot. So there is. Just next to the beach. Yeah, great. Now we need, like, the rest <laughs> of the horse. <laughs> yeah. I picked up these things too. I don't know what they are. What's that? I don't know. I don't know, it looks like some sort of like lipstick case or something maybe? I thought maybe. Maybe something like that, and that's like the finial off something. Yeah. Or decorative. It kind of looks deco, doesn't it? It's got that... Oh, I just oh. chucked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I have the fossil as well. You might yes, as well. Yeah. Yeah, the whole hog. I think I'll stay here. Okay then. You stay there. Oh, I think... It. We think that might be another bead. I well, just say, is it a pipe stem? But I'm not. No, it's a bit skinny, isn't it? It's kind of the wrong colour. Well, maybe maybe a little know. marking there. Yeah. Mm, well, we'll have that go too. now, have you? Yeah, I found a little bit of a pipe bowl. Yeah. But that's okay. Bits and pieces, tiny fossils. You found some pottery with some writing on. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a glass bead right there, and a little bit of uh, blue and white. So, and it kind of looks like pipe stem, but I really don't think it, it doesn't feel like pottery, it feels like glass. So I'm guessing that is a bead. Yeah, my first bead. Yes, I'm right. so excited for you. On second thoughts, I am wondering actually if that's a fossil, because you've found a piece as well. Yes. Which is here. Let me guess here. Which is bigger. I did. So I wonder if actually that's a fossil and not a bead. Maybe it's just a bigger bead. Mm, I think it's fossil. Mm. Okay, well, your little tin is filling up nicely. Yes. There's another um, bottle stopper, but a bigger one this time. Yes. Shame it's broken. It's got wording on there. It looks as if it's got some writing on there, but I can't make it out. Taking that one. I'm finding a lot of like cup 
handles. And oh, yeah. Pot handles like this. Like, yeah. Lots of those around. Yeah. I found lots of pottery as well. Some with words on. Yeah, can you see the bead? I can see a bead. There's a bead. Yeah, nice. There's another one. Oh, lovely. That's going in, in the tin for sure. There's okay. two beads. Yeah. I feel like I'm and doing well. Little, there's two beads. Yeah. There's a little bit of pottery down there. This one here, I thought you'd look at that. Yeah. Yes, but the bead though. Yeah, but the bead though. <laughs> well done, Laura. Thanks, Kath. <laughs> okay, so I found oh, this. I don't know what it is, but I found another piece as well. Look at that though. Isn't that cool? And then Laura comes right up behind me. <laughs> right up behind me and finds that. Oh dear. Sorry. A clay bead. I'll leave you alone. Yes. Is it clay? Yeah, it's clay. That's cool. But I don't know what I'm guessing that's glass. I don't know. But um that's kind of interesting. Spoon. I know some people like spoons, don't they? Not quite sure what I'd do with that, to be honest with you. animal teeth. No, oh, something's a foot. It is. Is that a left foot or a right foot? I, I couldn't tell you, but it's definitely a foot. Mm. <laughs> well look, found another little fossil. Let's see if we can make it focus. piece or something, didn't it? Like drafts or something. Yeah. That's a tin thing. Yeah, I found, tin. managed to find something on the way out. Yeah. Okay, that's a glass jar that you just found. Yeah. Are you going to clean that up? Yeah, I have a spare bag for extra muddy things that might have to go in there. Because <laughs> it is extra muddy. Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. Is that a clay marble? I think so. That's a big one if it is. It was sticking out of the wall. Oh. So I thought I'd just prise it out and it's definitely round. Yeah. Oh look, it's a little uh, paste job on it. That's it, there we go, there's a nice glass load. If only it had been full. Nice. If that's whole, that's, that'd be really nice. Can you see the knack of it at all? Nope, not there yet, but look at how sticky this dirt is. Like. It's just like pure clay, oh, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh here it comes. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that's a whole one. Oh, cool. What <laughs> colour is that then? Brown. Sure. At the moment, muddy. Is it um, poison or it's no, got any it's rib? No ridges, but it's, you know. well, it's whole and it's it's a nice shape, yeah. isn't it? There you go. Yeah, nice find. Thanks. Well done, Laura. Thank oh, there's another little paste pot there. Yeah. Don't know if it's got any writing on it, but we'll find out later on when it's all cleaned up. I actually fun. found something like half decent. Look at that. That's amazing. On the way out. Does it have a head? I don't know, probably not. Oh, look, see, it's got the bottom. How cool is that? Okay, so he doesn't have a head, but you know. 
How cool is that? That's amazing. My first um, lead toy that wasn't metal detected. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm happy with that. I finally found something like half decent. Looking a little more windswept and dishevelled. <laughs> tired, very tired. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, our little trip out to Lyme Regis and all the little things that we found, bits of treasure. Um, we're going to go home now and uh, clean all our finds and we'll show, the, show them to you very shortly. So we picked up, well, rather a lot of stuff, mm. predominantly pottery. But then Kathy's doing a project. Here are the fossils. These um, long bits that we thought were beads are, what are they called? Bellamites. Bellamites? They're yeah. actually fossils. Um, I believe that one is as well, but it's like a larger one, a yeah. tip of one, which um, was described to us as a squid's bum. Yes, thanks, um, Tracy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that one there looks like there's a spine running through it. Yeah. Look at these. And these are ammonites, aren't they? Yes. But you've got actual full am ammonites. And then you've got the imprints. Yes. So that, for instance, is an imprint, I'm guessing. Yeah. Is it that one? No, no not that is. one. Where is it? That one. Yeah, there's a lot so of So that's imprints. like an imprint of one. Whereas that... Is the actual fossil itself. Mm. So. But there was, there was lots of circular, like that, this kind of thing. Loads of these on the beach, loads of them. Yeah. That have been worn away. So, yeah. And then this lead pencil, I was so excited. You thought it was a slate pencil, didn't you? That's what I meant. I was so excited. Yeah. But it's not, it's just charcoal. Somebody's charcoal pencil that they've left behind. Yeah. And this, this, rod here which is what it is yeah um we think now that this is a carbon rod from a battery yeah um so I, i'm not going to keep that nope and this hagstone <laughs> we soaked it overnight then it crumbled it's actually mud but it was really yeah. solid mud to the point where we thought it was stone yeah. i was actually picking up like circular items that look like coins and were like the right thickness but actually when you went to sort of see how strong they were mm. they'd break up in your hands because they were compacted mud which is exactly what that was that is. so Fooling. that's in the bin fool's mud yeah and there's cat's tooth there's i think we just got overexcited, didn't we really well yes there's, there's my horse's foot which is a horse's foot yeah we're coming over to the metals so lots of bits and pieces of metal that looks like a coin we can't make anything out on it but I think in a fire, because there are some fire charred pieces, mm. it's moulded itself onto something else, which is what fooled us. If it is coin, I don't know. I um, don't know. Lots of bits of metal and copper wiring and a giant spoon. That must be a serving spoon, surely. Can I just um, point this out as well? Oh, please? I wasn't there yet. <laughs> what you thought was a foot? It looks like a foot. Well, it does look like a foot. But... Um, I've got the feeling actually that's probably <laughs> the top of a handle, yes, okay. like from a cup or something. Yes. See, just get overexcited. I just, I just wanted like 
dolls. <laughs> but hey. And then there's lots of pottery. So we've got black and white here and there's some writing so you can see Vienna. Uh, I don't know what the rest of them would have said, but good to have some letters. We can get that into some crafting somewhere. Um, a little grey piece. I thought that was quite a nice piece. Mm -hmm. And then you've got reds and pinks. And you've got microsmart there as well, or part, part of one. Yeah. Some mauve there with somebody's legs. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got the plain blues and glass, lots of bits of glass. And some of these look like they're that, I mean, that, mangled. for instance, I thought that was a really interesting piece of glass. Yeah. It looks like the um, milk glass, but like a different colour. Yeah. So I'll probably work that into something. And there's a little piece there that looks a bit millefury esque. Looks um, like it's been painted, doesn't it? Or it's been painted. Mm. Um, some of this, like that blue blob there, that's glass, that looks like it's been in a fire. And then some of it's perfectly fine with lettering on, like this one, HS. There's also this, for instance, yeah. which I showed on film. Interesting. And there's the other piece to it, so I found those two bits together. Mm. Bottle stoppers, none of which are complete. Um, blue and white, although some of it charred. So this is what I mean when I say it looks like it's been in a fire. That's mm. not like mud staining, that is charred. Mm. Although we can still like rescue bits of it for the mosaic. Well I can show you, I can show you what, as an example, what I do with pottery. This is why I'm collecting random bits. This is the door to a little cupboard that she's um, mosaicing. Mm. So this is the top bit. So everything will be used. Yeah. It will be, even, even the handle was like... I guess. Foraged. Larked, foraged from the recycling centre tip shop. Yeah. So, yeah, and she's just doing the top of the cupboard at the moment, but um, the, keep an eye out for that video because there is one in, in yeah. progress. So that's what's going to happen to these items. They're going to be put into a mosaic at some point. Yeah. Okay. And then we got little bottles. Oh, Calf's lead soldier. Yes. Headless. She said last night, he was just lying there looking up at me. I was like, well, he wasn't really looking up at you, was he? No, she didn't have a hand. But, but what what I did think was, he was he was flat in the ground, as you saw. Loads of people would have walked over him. Yeah. Because there were quite a lot of mud larkers there yesterday. There were. Um, looking for bottles and things like that. But, um, yeah, he was completely overlooked. So I'm quite happy to have found him. So am I. And this piece here, you think, is a gaming token could be it's ceramic that i do know um the ball the ceramic ball marble don't know very big it looks like a clay marble doesn't it yes clay clay pipe part of and pipe stem part of clay bead and two other little beads mm. there and then we've got bottles uh, so we've got the squashed blue bottle which is perfect for holding the beads Mm. <laughs> this is the one that you saw dug out of the mud that took some cleaning and even now it's probably not properly clean um, it's got a few scratches but it's whole that's um, Milton's which oh, would yes, be Milton's, yeah, Milton's on the bottom of that on the bottom um, so I'm guessing that would have either been like an, an antiseptic or uh, you know Milton's fluid yeah. which was um, you know for cleaning the jar, I like this. This is useful. Very useful. Again, a little bit scratched. Who knows how many people have just gone past this. Jam jar. Yeah, or marmalade. Um, that would be good for paints. Or brushes. Milk glass. What did I say in the video? Milkware. Milk, well. milk well. That wasn't right. Milk glass. Um, I meant that. I was just excited. <laughs> These little pots. I just look at them and think... Ooh, they're useful for something. <laughs> Maybe not say this one. This is a squished bovril. That was actually found by somebody else, wasn't it? Yes, thanks, Tracy. <laughs> Our new friend, a new mudlarking friend. But I do like bovril, and it's the first one we have. Yeah. So I'm going to have that until I find a replacement that's not squished. Yeah. Okay, then we've got little paste jars. So this one... That's St. Ivel. 
if I just get the wording, there it is. Now, St Ivel, I used to work, I used to live in St Ives. Yes. And in St Turf, which isn't that far away from St Ives, there used to be a St Ivel like factory. And they used to deal with um, milk and cream and, you know, dairy. Um, but we've looked that up and you said that, that they did also like did fish pastes. Who knew? Yes, fish so and meat paste. I think that's what that pot might have been. Um, and this one is also Shippham's mm. uh, potted meat. Potted meat. Yeah. But it's our first Shippham's, so this one gets a special place in the no doubt ever growing collection of potted meat jars we'll find. Mm. Um, but that's the first. It's cute and it's in decent condition as well. It isn't is. It? I have no idea what this little screw top would have been. It's a funny colour. Yeah, it's... Uh... Maybe something art related. I could not get that colour off at all. Strange. But dinky. I like it. And lastly, I don't know that we're going to keep this one either. It's in a bit of a state. It's very small. Screw top. Maybe if I manage to get that top off and get into it and clean it up. It's clearly had that liquid in it and been lying that way round. But, um, yeah, not sure about that one. But still. I mean, we, I think we probably will sift through. Yeah. Won't we? And get rid of particular things. But anything that's actually useful, like the pottery, I'll keep. Yes. Um, and, the, you know, the special bits like the beads and the toy. You know. Oh, definitely. We'll keep all those items. Yeah. So that's that. That mm. that's our our lark at Lime Regis, which we thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, I'd go there again for sure because there's clearly you know, things lots of stuff there. I thought I'd add this mm. to the end of the video because you know it's all linked. It's all finding things. But we we purchased a UV light mm. to see if this bead that I found on a Tamar is uranium. Now this was, um, it was actually the Southwest Mudlarkers. Yes. That uh, they thought it might have been, and had we tested it. Well, we have now. But we, because we have a torch, so yes, we'll show you. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Hold on back. Are you still there? Ready? Okay. Yeah, I don't think it is. There we are. Yeah. No, it's not. No, definitely not. So there we are. So that answers that question. Anyway, um, and then I was walking Lexi today, and this was just on a garth, a bridal path. And I thought, oh, that's a football like game piece or something, because I just saw the three lions. Uh, what I didn't see was it says Guernsey on one side, and on the other side it says one, I say double, but it could be French, I suppose. 1813 Kath looked it up and it is actually a coin from 1830 yeah I thought maybe it was a token because I've never seen anything like that before mm. but no it is actually a coin well, there was me thinking it was just a game piece for a football game so that would be William the fourth that was just lying on the path yeah just no digging no searching it was just there. it's actually quite close to what you think that, that, that there may be a bottle dump in that area because you've started finding little I bits have. of pottery there, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know that was? Yes. See, you have very good eyesight. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> For things like that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, just thought I'd tack that on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, many thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.